Hey, what's going on, guys? TechX here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make an amazing long shadow effect in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and Adobe Photoshop Elements or every other Photoshop, basically. So, once you type out any text, you're going to hit Control J. That's going to duplicate the text and move it under the text itself. Then you're going to reset their type. After that, you're going to hit Control U. It's going to bring you to this menu and turn the lightness all the way down so it's black. Then go ahead and duplicate the duplicate, and you'll have a second layer. Now I'm going to zoom in to make it easier. And now you want to go ahead and select the duplicate and use the arrow keys. So put the arrow key down and then to the right, and then hold Control E to merge the layers and then hit control J again. Arrow key down to the right, control E, merge the layers and do so until you have a good enough shadow. So I got a big enough shadow now, so I'm going to zoom out now. And what I'm gonna do is hold control J and now I'm actually gonna drag the shadow and line it up with each other. I'm gonna zoom in for convenience again. And what you're going to want to do is control J, control E. But now as you watch, I'm doing control J. I'm dragging it, the big shadow out, and lining it up. Hitting control J again. Dragging it, lining the shadow up. Make sure it's lined up or else it won't look nice. Look, um, it takes, sometimes it takes a while to line up like this. So I'm just trying to make it perfect. Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways I'm gonna hit Control e and Control j again And drag it out and I'm gonna continue the process as so Once you brought it near the end of the file, then you're going to want to put and merge all the shadow together and go to your paintbrush. Then you're going to want to set the paintbrush the color of your background and use the paintbrush that I'm setting right now and use a pretty big brush, a size around 250. And you're just going to want to lightly stroke back and back on near the bottom of it to give it a little fade and more of a shadow feel. So just let these stroke on the back and front near the sides like so to give it a nice, nicer feel. Finally go ahead and select the brush and go to blending options and change the opacity to a point where it looks good for you. So I'm setting it around 70 or 80 as you can see here and it looks a lot nicer like that. And yeah, that's gonna do it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll make sure to do more of these tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one.